The evidence is clear. When parents engage with their children's education, achievement levels rise. The issue goes well beyond technology, but technology can have a vital role in energising the dialogue between schools, parents and their children. For parents to support their child's learning, it's important that we provide them with relevant, up-to-date and timely information. Parents can play a, a huge part in advancing their child's education. Uh, the use of ICT makes this much more possible nowadays, of course, because all sorts of things are open to us and are available to schools and to parents that weren't available before. All schools need to develop their own vision for ICT in order to embrace parental engagement, but every journey will begin by maximising the technology already in place. <laughs> Our management information system is now quite sophisticated and it is really empowering our parents to take a full and active part in the work of the school. We have five areas for reporting. One of the main ones for me is to look at behaviour. Negative behaviour needs to be addressed, but the positive behaviour needs to be celebrated as well. It's important for schools to make sure they utilise the functionality of their MIS systems fully. We at Park Lane have done that by actually putting the MIS systems into classes. So teachers, for example, can take attendance directly, they can add assessment directly, and that therefore they can access that information. Engaging parents through online reporting involves making this meaningful information available to parents in an accessible and timely manner. So they could access their personal details and make sure that they were up to date, for example. They could access the child's attendance, uh, attainment, behavioural issues, special educational needs, anything that any school would hold on its individual pupils. As a parent, having reporting online is absolutely wonderful because it means I can look at my daughter's achievements seven days a week, 24 hours a day, any time I want. I can look at her reading, her writing, her maths attainment, and if I need to support her in any areas. Schools are keen to celebrate all manner of pupil achievement with parents, and many are finding technology the perfect vehicle for this. We can use the learning platform to share the work that's been going on and the learning that's been happening in the classroom on a daily basis. The website is a lifeline for parents. It gives them access to their children's learning and is the starting point for conversations with their teachers and also with the children when they come home. To exploit fully the learning potentials of this online access, schools are now recognising the need to ensure that the required skills are in place. What it's very conscious of is that not all parents are actually accessing the North Tyneside Learning Platform. So we decided to have parents come in and do some training and enthuse parents really into actually using the platform. It's hard to get information out of children sometimes, especially when they've got learning difficulties and that. But for me it's just go on and log on and see what she's done at school and you can do her own work and that and they can see it back here as well. It makes you a lot more involved. Before, the only chance we had to understand how the kids are growing was when you came at the end of the term to meet the teachers and then you realised, oh, in the last three months they've actually done all these things which you haven't realised. But now you get a real-time, you know, daily kind of update. By the parents logging onto that page and seeing their children actually doing things, not just a finished piece of work, but actually the process, that might just spark a memory of that child from that day and then it opens up discussion between the parent and the child. To maximise levels of parental engagement, each school's ICT vision needs to be developed and implemented intelligently, step by step. Schools can move forward on this quite easily and without any worry if they just build on what they're already doing and recognise what they're already doing because they will be meeting some of these requirements already. Set their plans in action, utilise staff skills, have conversations with parents. What do parents want? Let parents recognise what you're already doing let them have a say, give them a voice. So schools need to be really confident that if all of those things are in place, they shouldn't have any problems meeting the 2012 date. Many schools across the country have already started the journey and the benefits are being felt through the whole school community. We're seeing a difference. We're seeing children who are excited about going home and being able to show what's happening in school. We've got parents who are now coming on board and they're pleased, they're, they're able to see what's actually happening. And this just has a knock-on effect all the time. Robbie! <laughs>